good Thursday morning, everyone. How are you? This is Tina with Rhapsody in Ribbons. So it's been a little while since before Easter, so I hope you all had a wonderful, blessed Easter. Um, how is everybody doing out there? So we have some nice weather here in Michigan. Um, it was 70-some yesterday. It's going to be that today. So um, I spent a lot of time just sitting outside yesterday soaking up the sun so <laughs> anyways if you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're clicking on my video I hope you'll hit that subscribe button stay like share that helps me to get out there and I would appreciate that also very much so anyways guys today I thought I would make a spring wreath and it's going to be a flat wreath or what they call a pancake wreath so for those of you who have storm doors um you know the the bigger wreaths don't fit so supposedly these are supposed to fit so what i'm gonna use is this um welcome sign and a 14 inch work wreath form this is from the dollar tree um you're gonna need 12 twist ties so i'm gonna use pink and then you're going to need 12 pieces of 10 inch mesh of color your choice whatever i just happen to have this so i thought i'd do it so i'm going to do mine in um pink and white and i've cut up a bunch of ribbons at 12 inches and i have a little bow made so let me put you down and we'll get started <clears throat> excuse me guys i am just got allergies galore so you're only going to put 12 of these um, twist ties on your wreath form. Okay, and I'll show you how to do that. One, two. I can't believe I didn't have these counted out. I did everything else. Okay, so what you're going to do is, okay, so there are six spaces. So wrong to wrong is a space so you have six of them on the 14 inch free form so i'm going to start at the bottom on each of the rungs and i'm going to go through the outer bar and the second bar okay try to get your chanel stems as even as you can and then you're just going to twist that on so you see, I used the outer bar and the inner bar. So you're just going to go around to all your joints <clears throat> and you're going to add one of these. This is easy peasy, making this little reed form. Sorry guys, if you hear noise, I have my... Um, my window open it's so nice out can you guys see what I'm doing when I pray Anything exciting with anybody? What's new? Yesterday, I took my husband um, for his first shot, and he got Pfizer. So, um, he did well. The most he has is just a sore arm at the injection site. So, um, other than that, he's fine. So now you're going to go in the middle section of the innermost bar and the second bar. So right in the middle of those two. So you're going to have 12 ties on here. Okay. So as you can see, we went in the innermost first, second. Okay. And you're going to do those ones all in the center as close as to the center as you can get it, okay? Okay, 
And because I've heard that before so many times at craft shows, I would love to have that wreath that would never fit between my doors because I have a storm door. So, I mean, this isn't new. This is something that has been out for, I don't know, quite some time. I've just been um, watching some <clears throat> Pinterest and some other wreath groups that I belong to. And um, so not my idea. But I thought, wow, it is so, so cute. Okay, there you go. It takes a whole three minutes to make your wreath form. So I'm gonna tuck those inner ones down so they're out of my way. And then here's your wreath form. So I cut my mesh in 20 inches, if I didn't tell you that, and we're just gonna do um, ruffles, okay? So you're just gonna lay this down, pinch, okay. Go into your first tie. And just tie that in there. Okay, so you wanna fluff this out. Okay, so that it's, and then you wanna make sure that it lays, um, flat. Okay, so next I'm going to do white. Go to your next outer tie, lay that in there, twist it a couple good times. Again, the same thing, you're pulling this out. Okay. And then I'll go with pink. So you're only going to be putting 12 pieces of mesh on here. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So you can probably get two of these pancake wreaths out of two rolls of mesh. Okay. Which is pretty good. Okay, again, I'm just pulling this and laying it down over my last piece okay now you can add your ribbons too as you go if you want to put them on um, you can do that I don't know how this pink and white is gonna look because these are so sheer this mesh is um, the mesh from Hobby Lobby and it's so thin so we'll see I was gonna do one with the burlap I probably should have but that's okay guys at least you have a <clears throat> a general idea so you want to keep these flat remember the idea is to get these between your door on my outer okay and then I'm just pulling this up you want to flatten this down you don't want these out flat okay and then one more in the bottom it will be the white anybody out there doing any gardening planning oh my husband's so busy with his garden okay so when we got to the place he had an appointment to go so there was a couple police officers outside and I took Valentino with me so while my husband was in there I said is this just for people with appointments because there were so many cars there he goes no he goes anybody can he goes have you gotten one yet and I said no he goes go on in and get it <laughs> I'm like um no I haven't made my mind up yet okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put some ribbons in before I do the um 
second. So my ribbons are cut at 12 inches, okay? Some might be a little longer than others. It just depends on how wide I make the V cuts. <laughs> the dovetails. Okay, so we're going to just go ahead and do that. Since I think it's easier to put these on. Like I said, you can put it on as you make your ruffle. That'll save you a step. And I just got different ribbon. Oh, I don't want pink on pink. So, just fold it in half, pinch, just go to your next tie, <laughs> so I was waiting out in the, in the car for my husband and I called my oldest brother because he's just on me. You need to go get that shot. You need to get that shot. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not ready for that shot. <laughs> so, I, I just haven't decided, but I think if I do, I am I would probably do the Johnson & Johnson just for the fact that it's a one-time injection that's just my opinion don't listen to me you guys do what you want if anybody got the shots I know some of you have let me know what you experienced um, you know fever chills um, stuff like that but here it's starting to hit the younger kids um, so like we have like my friends, um, our friends, their daughter's in her 30s and their son-in-law, and um, they both have contracted COVID. She's very, very sick with it. Um, <clears throat> you know, so we're seeing more and more of the younger people uh, getting this COVID. So I don't know what's going on. Is it because of spring break? I, I don't know. I watched one doctor yesterday, I think he was on Dr. Phil at the end of Dr. Phil's show, and he said that um, we should be have this well under control or almost gone by this July. Now, mm, I don't know. I'm no doctor. I don't know what they see. But he said they that they did this um, testing on over a hundred thousand people. So in the U.S., um, Africa, um, I forget where else he said, and out of a hundred thousand people, I forget how many deaths there were. But some did placebo and some did the actual vaccine. So he said. None of them died from the vaccine, which I don't know. <laughs> I just, I, I just keep watching YouTube videos and people's side effects and what they've experienced. And I'm just a big chicken. <laughs> so I was really... Um, now we're going to go on the inside, okay? So, yeah, I was really worried about my husband yesterday. I'm like, really? But he, that was just something he wanted to do. He wants to be vaccinated. And I support him for that. But, of course, he was in, you know, the military most of his life. So, um, he's had probably every vaccine out there. So he just wasn't scared of it. He was like, what are you going to do? Let this drive you crazy? You just worry about it. Quit watching those videos. <laughs> I 
would be more comfortable if I was the type who got the, um, okay, just make sure you flatten it out. If I got the flu shot every year or I got the ammonia shot every year, um, the shingle shot, I've had shingle spice and I won't get that shot. Um, I don't know. So I'm thinking, ooh. You know, you don't get these shots. So, is it going to be worse on me because I don't? I don't know. My husband said, if you didn't have something to worry about, I'd worry about you. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm a whack job. Go ahead and say it. Leave it in the comments. You're a whack job. Okay, so make sure... You're still flat. Flat this, folding it under. Okay. I only got like three or four more pieces of mesh. So these versus your fullerese, which can be six to seven inches deep, these are only about three inches deep. So there wouldn't be a problem putting it between two storms. I'm going to do one for my front door, and I do have a storm door, but not pink. I don't want the pink one, but flat, flat, lay flat. Oh, and my friend, and you guys who watch her, um, Key Creation, she's back. She was missing in action for about five, six months, so I knew what she was doing. She was moving, so um, I clicked on her channel, and she did a video a couple weeks ago, and I wrote her. I go, oh my God, how did I miss this? So um, I think I had to uh, hit her bell button again, so I'm happy she's okay and back. I just love that girl. Very talented young lady. She sure is. Okay, so we got, nope, I got one more. One more. And then I will show you this flat wreath. Okay. Get out of here. String. You know, now that it's nice out, I have to sit and make a list of what type of wreaths I want to make and then use my wood burning tool and um, sit outside and cut them. So, um, I have a couple. Another one I have in mind that I've never made. It's, a, um, it's on a, um, what do you call those, grapevine wreaths? But I'm going, I want to put on mesh. So I seen a video, again, not my idea of um, how to do it. So I think so that uh, I will try that. Okay, so let me go ahead and finish putting these ribbons on the top. Just just fluff out your your tails. Yeah, that's fine. That's good. I got to put an order in for just um, ribbon and craft out with. I need some spring and summer ribbon.
I've just been busy with doctors and not feeling well and so there we go. Okay. And we're gonna put our sign on. See where we want to do that. Okay, so let me lift this up and show it to you, and I'll go and get all the threads off later. So, as you can see, look how thin this is. Okay, so I guess that's why they call it a pancakery. So, I just added some twist ties to the back of this with my staple gun. And I kind of like things on an angle when it comes to these kind of signs. What do you guys think? Straight across, more angled. I'm not going to do it on an angle since you can't answer me. But if you think it should be different, leave it in the comments. <laughs> I'm just going to come down, find my um, wire, my wire frame, and I'm going to attach. I don't want to pull it too tight. You got to stay over here. Get it on this side. Down this way. Yeah. Because we got to put a bow on yet, too, so. I'm trying to get under there without messing up my mesh. It's kind of hard. I tell you what, I'm going to go sit outside and enjoy this beautiful day. Watch my happy work. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm bad. I know it. I did put three ties on this sign. Okay. All right. Well, it's kind of straight. That's all right. We'll go with it. Now, for the bow, I just whip this up. And I'm just going to stick it up there on the top. Because I think that's where it looks the best. Flat, flat. Try to get it right in the middle of the welcome sign. So you need to be over there by that seat. <laughs> okay. Now let me cut those off. Oh, I'm just going to grab my scissors. There's my wire cutters. Let's cut this off. You know, I might go in and put some little uh, glue, some flowers in between these. Um, so make sure you pull out your ribbons. Cut off your... So I have some really tiny little flowers. I have this garland flower, so I think I'm just going to, like, pull the tips off and just glue them in. I think that'd be so pretty to finish it off, to give it, a, you know, a little finish look. And let me fix this bow. 
I will deal with this though later. But just so you guys could see. I don't know if my bow is straight or not. I can't see from this angle. Okay. So this is your pan taper. Let me put you out. What do you think, guys? I think it's cute. I really do. So there. That's how you make a flat wreath um, for your door that has a storm door. So that's it. So later I'll go cut the rest of these zip ties off, add some of these beautiful flowers. Um, this is actually a flower garland. Um, one of my subscribers had sent to me <coughs> last year for my birthday. So I love it. And that's it. That's all I have for you today. I hope you had a wonderful Easter. I hope you guys are well. If you're sick, you're in my prayers. If you need a special prayer, just tell me. I will put that out on my channel. Um, let's say a prayer for our men and women serving in the United States military, our frontline workers, our law enforcement, um, our nurses, our doctors, anybody who's out there dealing with a chance of getting COVID. So um, with that, I hope you're all well. I love you guys so much. You guys know that. And until the next video, which <clears throat> maybe I'll do another one this week. I'm, I'm pretty sure I can do that. Um, I hate to say a date like I'm going to do it tomorrow or I'm going to do it Wednesday because I don't know how I'm going to feel on those days. So um, that's why I don't do that. So unless I would film them ahead of time and then just preload them, then I could pretty much do that. So um, anyways, yeah, so that's it. And take care, guys. I love you all. God bless everyone. And until the next video, ciao.